The empirical formula of a compound gives the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms present in the molecule. Obtain a crucible and a crucible lid. Check them for hairline cracks or stress fractures. Do not use the crucible or the lid if they are damaged. Rinse the crucible and lid with DI water and dry them with a paper towel. Clamp an iron ring to a ring stand and place a wire triangle, clay triangle, on the iron ring. Adjust the height of the iron ring to accommodate a Bunsen burner. Place the covered crucible on the wire triangle and heat for three minutes with an intense flame. The bottom of the crucible should be in the hottest part of the flame. Note the bottom of a properly positioned crucible should eventually become red hot. Turn off the gas using crucible tongs do not use your hands. Transfer the hot crucible to a piece of wire gauze and allow the crucible to cool to room temperature. This could take between 5 and 10 minutes. During this time, you may remove the lid from the crucible to encourage it to cool faster. To determine if the crucible is at room temperature, place your fingers as close as possible to the crucible without touching it. If heat is radiating from the crucible, allow it to cool for another 2 minutes. After heat is no longer radiating from the crucible, you may test the temperature with a finger wrapped in a Kim wipe. Do not weigh a warm crucible. Using crucible tongs, place the cool crucible and lid on the balance to record the combined mass. It is strongly recommended that you record the mass of the crucible and the lid separately. While the crucible is cooling down, take your magnesium ribbon and scratch off the oxide that is already present until the magnesium ribbon is shiny. Repeat steps four through six until the crucible is heated to a constant weight or until two successive weights are within plus or minus 0 0.002 grams of each other. Obtain between 10 to 12 centimeters of magnesium ribbon. Polish the magnesium ribbon with steel wool until it is shiny and silver in color. This will remove any oxide that has formed and leave behind a purer metal. Coil the magnesium, record the combined mass of the magnesium ribbon, the crucible, and the lid. Return the crucible with the magnesium ribbon to the iron ring. Slightly open the lid of the crucible to allow air to enter. Brush heat the crucible with a low flame for about two minutes. Continue to heat the slightly open crucible with direct heat for another five minutes with a flame of medium low intensity. If the crucible is heated too rapidly, magnesium vapor will escape in the form of a gray smoke. If this happens, cover the crucible and remove the flame immediately do not continue the heating until the vapor stops escaping. 
This will take about two minutes of cooling. After heating, cover the crucible and transfer it using crucible tongs to the wire gauze and allow it to cool for about two minutes. Using a glass stirring rod, carefully crush the pieces of magnesium into a dark gray powder. This powder is a mixture of magnesium nitride and magnesium oxide. If any unreacted pieces of magnesium remain, heat the slightly open crucible with a medium to low flame for five more minutes. Repeat steps 11 through 13 until the, all the magnesium has reacted and you have a uniform dark gray powder. Allow the crucible and product to cool until you can no longer feel heat radiating, then add a few drops of DI water to moisten the oxide. This will convert the magnesium nitride to magnesium hydroxide. Return the crucible to the iron ring. Slightly open the lid, then brush heat the crucible until the water evaporates. This will take no more than one or two minutes. Do not heat intensely or too rapidly at this as this can cause the oxide to splatter. The vapor escaping from the crucible at this point is not magnesium oxide, it is water vapor. Allow it to escape. After the water vapor has escaped, heat the slightly open crucible with an intense flame for three minutes. This will convert the magnesium hydroxide to magnesium oxide. Remove the flame, cover the crucible, and transfer it to the wire gauze. Allow the covered crucible to cool to room temperature and record its weight. Do not weigh a warm crucible. Return the crucible to the iron ring, slightly open the lid, and heat with an intense flame for two minutes. Repeat step 18. Repeat step 19 until constant weight is achieved. Determine the mass of the oxide and the empirical formula. Place the oxide in the appropriate waste container, wash and dry the crucible.